The first stage of making this suta is similar to a simple interrupted suta technique. After a needle output through the closest edge of the wound, a primary fixing knot is made according to the rules. Further, the needle is recharged in the initial position and having receded aside 5 to 7 mm from the first stitch. The wound edges are pulled together by the second stitch. The difference from a continuous blanket suture is that the needle output through the closest edge of the wound is made inside the loop of the filament coming from the previous stitch. The loop can be thrown on the needle by an assistant or a surgeon. Manipulation listed above give a specific feature to the suture. The filament is consistently located across and along the edges of the incision. Subsequent stitches are made in the same way. For prevention of the divergence of the wound edges at making subsequent stitches, an assistant keeps the filament stretched in the direction of the needle output. The last fixing knot is made like a continuous blanking suture making technique. At the final stage, the free filament ends of the first and last knots are cut off.